Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Joe's Wild Side Adventures. I'm up here at the Antioch River Lodge in Antioch, Alaska. My first trip up here, we're gonna be here five days doing all kinds of trout and salmon fishing. But today we're primarily gonna focus on big rainbow trout and uh, Crockett. Yep. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Yeah, pleasure to have you, Joe. And I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about this. I mean, it's my, been my dream to fish here in Alaska, but. It's a, uh, it's a great place, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know everybody that's here and works here it says nothing, but but great things about it. Looks like we're gonna have a really nice day to trout fish. But uh, So we're gonna be doing some, some rainbow trout fishing today. Yep, we're gonna be fishing for the rainbows. And the rainbows up here, they're, uh, they're a subspecies, leopard rainbow trout. Makes them a little interesting, extra spotted, and they got red on their gill plates like a cutthroat. Um, but uh, we're gonna be mousing as well. And this is just a mouse pattern that will be thrown out. It's one of the few places in North America that you can successfully throw a mouse pattern and draw the rainbow trout up. And so we're gonna see if we can't catch a few trout here on well, the river today. That so. sounds like a lot of fun. I can't wait to get started. So stay tuned everybody when we come back. Joe's Wild Side Adventures at the Antioch River Lodge in Alaska. Now they're they're hitting this egg pattern, yep. right? And and this is a result of the salmon that are running right Yeah, now, right? exactly. So right behind us, what's going on? You can't see it because of the muddy water, but there's chum spawning in the water, and they lay a pretty big orange egg. And if we were to, to grab one of the dollies, sometimes you can open up their mouth and see the eggs inside their mouth. But this bead that we're fishing very closely resembles their egg. And what we're doing is we're just sweeping it through their spawning beds and the dolly varden and the grayling and the rainbow trout are sitting behind the beds and they're picking it up as it comes along. Well, so it's a, it's a very effective way of catching fish. I was gonna say, fish. it really <laughs> is effective because like I said, I had three drifts and three fish. So, uh, but today we got a little bit of overcast, the light is pretty low, but uh, I don't know if, if you've ever fished in Alaska or not, but it's like 20 hours a day. Yeah. It doesn't yep. get dark until 1.30 in the morning. Last no, night we were- and it's we're we're a uh, we're a solid month away from the solstice as well, and so we're it's getting darker and darker every night. Yeah, but we we were sitting out at the campfire last night, broad daylight. It was 11 o'clock when we found, we actually got tired. And said yeah. we need to go to bed. At 11 o'clock, we're outside. It was It'll great. It'll get you. All right, I'm gonna get this back in. Sounds good. Fish on. Well, not that, we're just getting started. I think that's a rainbow. No. Nope. No char. It's a nice char. Nice though. one. Real nice char. Lift that up. Awesome. Wow. 
How about that for a good, good start, huh? Good first fish of the day. Yeah, nice. <laughs> wow, look at the colors. I'm gonna let this guy calm down a little bit. He has no idea what happened to him. Look, he got a hooked jaw on him. Yep, it's called the kipe. He's got a nice big kipe on his, uh, his lower jaw there. Orange lips, call them the Cheeto lips. Yeah, the Cheetos. There we go. Good firm grasp. Look at Good that. fish, I mean, Joe. Look at this. Beautiful polka dots and pinks and these Cheeto lips on them. <laughs> All right, buddy. There we go. All right, good All start. Right, man. Good stick. Another one. That's the second one right down below there. It might be, I might move down a little bit. Yep, I'd take about 10 steps down. Might be right off the tail of the boat back there, a little higher. This one's a lot more silver than the other yep. one. Yep. There we go, another good fish, spat the hook. Okay. That's the way we like to see it. Another one. And that's three fish in about five minutes. Does this area hold rainbows too? This area does hold rainbows. Traditionally, they've been down a little bit further, so we're gonna work our way down a little bit lower in the hole. Okay. But we'll see these. Uh, these oh man! Look yeah, at this is a beautiful a one. Lit up. All lit what up. What a beauty! There you go. Get that head up. Wow. Yeah, great fish. You know, it gets really repetitious when you say how beautiful these fish are, but <laughs> it's it's amazing. <laughs> There's so many different colors. Now this one's completely different than the last big male. It had blue yeah. in it and green. Yeah. This one's got more yellow in it. Good. That's a better fish. Nice. Nice. Good jump out of them. And using these barbless hooks, you got to keep constant pressure on them, too. He's digging a little bit. Oh. Yeah, beautiful fish. Look at his belly, how fiery <laughs> red it is. Work my way up here. Oh. Whoop, coming around. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a real good one. On fire. <laughs> that pretty mouth on the front. Cheeto nose. Cheeto nose? Cheeto lips. Cheeto yep. lips. Cheeto <laughs> lips. Got the Cheeto lips and his white and red fins. Look at that. Yeah, there. OK, pal. There you go. You know, we uh, notice you're carrying a sidearm, right? Yep. <laughs> and this, there's a lot of bear hair. In fact, this week, uh, one of the guys saw two already. Uh, we haven't seen any yet, but I mean, if you look at this bush, you can see the trails coming right down to the water. Yeah. And being that the salmon are dying this time of year, they're out feeding like crazy. Oh, so yeah. It's yep. always nice to have a little bit of added protection. Yeah, we, we always carry a gun as a last resort, but we like to make noise, make our presence known, and for the most part, they they leave well enough alone and but yeah no we we always make sure that we have something as a, a last resort Back but up. we are we are in some heavy bear country here Joe all right so we're gonna switch over from that that bead pattern the egg pattern to a flesh fly which looks like the salmon flesh that's floating down the river their their carcasses get stuck on structure in the river and this is another large large portion of what the rainbows are fe feeding on First drift through there, big fish. There it is. Nice rainbow. Rainbow, good rainbow. Here we go. Nice, oh yeah. Somebody took a chunk of her tail off. Oh. Whoa. Taking line on me. Yeah, that looks like a 
good That's fish. a good sized fish. Oh, nice. There he is. Nice dolly. Walk around to your other side. Well, that's a good it dolly. It felt a lot bigger in that current, but it is a nice dolly. I like the fact that you really got to squeeze them and it doesn't even hurt them. That's, yep. that's a nice looking fish. That's a great looking fish. I, you right see there. how this one here has a white belly and the ones we caught earlier were real orange on the bottom? Yeah. That's really something how the different colors. That's, is that a female? Yes, this is a female. Okay. Yep. Yep. But there are several species of those, right? Yeah, so you have your Dolly Varden and the Arctic Char. And that one's going to go on his way. There's a fish. All right. Yeah. Just threw right underneath that log and let it drift down there. Nice. If it's a rainbow, it's a decent sized one. Oh, wow, it is a rainbow. What a beauty. My first rainbow of the day, we were trying the, uh, trying the mouse and the water. It, we had a pretty good rain last night and the water got real chalky and silty, and uh, the water's just too high, so we had to go to a flesh pattern and fish up against these log jams. Probably be better off for the fish if we net them. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful looking rainbow. Oh, yes sir. Look at that. Yeah, he's probably about 18, 19. He looked yep. a little bigger in the water, but the color's coming down there. Quick release. <laughs> All right. Fish on. Man, he took right up close here. Oh, he wants to swim right to the camera, this guy. Come on over here, pal. Oh, what a pretty fish this is. Oh, this is a dolly. Wow, look at the pink spots on this fish. Dolly Varden, Arctic char. Beauty. Trying to get that cast right out in front of that log. Just let it drift right down through there. Picked up two fish in here. And you're, what we're doing is just bouncing this, uh, it's called a flesh pattern. These fish are decaying as they're coming upstream here. And the Dolly Vardens and the rainbows are feeding on the decayed flesh. I know it sounds pretty nasty, but that's what they're doing. So we're throwing an imitation flesh and egg pattern, bouncing it off the bottom. And there's really no strike indicator, so it's more or less feeling the line when it's bouncing. And then you'll feel the fish when they strike. They, they usually hit it pretty good. You know, we've got a, a chum walk uh, coming up through here. There's some, some kings. Uh, there's rainbow trout, Dolly Varden, all this different species just coming up here to spawn. Uh, these fish have been out in the ocean for four to five years. They're going back up into their original birthplace and just an amazing place. It's just such a beautiful fishery. It's they very seldom, uh, you know, it's fished other than the Antioch River Outfitter. So, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Nice doll here. Well, we moved down here and we're in this little channel and there's a lot of uh, salmon spawning here. There's a Dolly Vardner in here uh, trying to get the eggs. So we put on a little egg pattern. My first cast in here, I hooked up with a really nice Dolly. 
Boy, they like the pool. Sure did. Yep. Well, <laughs> this fish took a dive right when we were going to the net, smacked up against the post, but uh, thank goodness I have a TFO rod. All I gotta do is send this back and they're gonna send me another one. So I'll put this over here. There oh, she is, beautiful dolly bar. Color on that. Yep. Such a pretty fish. All right. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh! Nice. A little bigger than that last one. All right. Let's do this and keep the rod in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, real nice dolly. Look at that redfish right there. Yeah. Man, there That'd are so suck, many right? fish right here. Just staging up the spawn. All right, I'll keep the rod up. Hold on a second. There we go. I'll keep the net down. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty, pretty dolly right there. Look there at the size go. of him. Nice. Yeah, good dolly. That's a decent right. one. That is a decent one. Yeah. That's a real decent one. Oh, coming right at me. That's yeah, so what's going on here is uh, you've got the chum that have come in. They're beginning to spawn, and so they're down there, a bunch of chum. Oh, good jump. Yeah. There you go. Good tension. And so the chum and a couple of sockeye are coming in here, and they're spawning, and they're kicking up holes for their reds where they're going to lay their eggs uh -huh. and these dolly varden and there's arctic grayling and rainbow trout they come in here behind them and they wait for the eggs to get kicked out of the beds and these fish are feeding on the Can eggs switch positions here and so what we're doing is we're throwing a that bead pattern which simulates an egg and they're coming up and hitting that yeah and this is a big oh my. real colored up dolly Oh, oh, beautiful fish. Boy, he's slimy. Mm-hmm. That was a great fight. Nice looking fish. All righty. That big <laughs> the bigger one, one trying to eat that egg. That's a good That's char. That's a good dolly, yeah. Or dolly. And char, dolly, we use them interchangeable. Two different species, but very, very similar. Two right? different species, but similar to the point that you can't really tell the difference. Yeah, that's Look a great head up. Oh. oh, right over the net. <laughs> there, there he is. is. Yeah, good fish. You should bit. be okay. Turning some off there. There you go. Yep. He'll be fine. He should be just fine. There we go. Good. That's a good downstream hook set. I mean, you can literally sit here and do this all day, right? Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. All righty. Hey, stay tuned, everybody, when we come back. More Joe's Wild Side Adventures from the Antioch River Lodge in Alaska. Good. There we go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> come on, be a ready. It is! Is it in the mouth? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chum. It's a chum? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> had me scared there for a second. We, we pulled up here and saw this big school of uh, sockeye salmon, which is a dream of mine to catch a sockeye. And I've been casting in into the, uh, into the school, and this uh, 
this chum bit, but he's he's a big fish too. Yeah, he's a good sized fish. Wow. Remember, you got that seven weight. Yeah, so yeah. Chum pound for pound are the strongest fish in the river. They break more rods than any other fish. Okay. People underestimate them. They think, oh, it's just chum. Snap. <laughs> Oh, look at him running. <laughs> you got that anchor line out there as well. Yeah, see it's out to the left here. But I thought for sure when I threw into that school that the uh, that the sockeye took it, but yeah. that chum's a pretty fish though. Look at the colors yeah, you again. Got a sockeye following him. These sockeye are pretty active right now. They are pretty active. Here we go. Wow, look at this fish. Look at that. Big head shake. I should put the GoPro right on the net. Oh yeah, look at that. Tiger salmon right there. Look at the color, pink and the black. Unfortunately, these fish are going up to spawn and die, right? Yep, oh yeah. He's creating all kind of commotion down there, so hopefully it'll draw the other fish in. But that's a big fish. No, nope, not saw quite. That, saw that net. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> Another run. And that's that's one of the bigger chum I've seen over here. Yeah, that's a, that's He's a, great a good size. one. It's a good male. He just doesn't like that fly in his mouth, does he? No. <laughs> Understandably. <laughs> I gotta be a little careful too because I'm using a seven weight rod. I don't want to force him too much and snap my rod. But he still looks pretty flat, fresh. Oh, no. Okay, tiring out. Can we do it? Can we do it? All right. Nice. Yes, sir. Woo! <laughs> look at the size of that baby. <laughs> that is a big heavy fish right there. Oh man, look how pretty that fish is. We're gonna get him back in the water here. I don't wanna stress him out too bad. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little ball oh, that's here. A, that's an Arctic grayling right there. Oh, grayling, yeah, look at him. Yep, I'll grab the other net for that guy. This, I think, is the most beautiful fish in the river system. So these guys are absolutely incredible. Yeah, look at that. Pull that dorsal fin up. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. He did it for the camera. Yep. Give nice. Him a little shake. Very yeah, cool. This fish right here, it's maybe 14 inches. Chances are it's 10 to 12 years old at least. Is that right? Yep. There's yeah, another one off right to your right. Us. That's pretty cool. The other one way up. Be looking for those sockeye too. They should be in here. Oh, big dolly. Or a rainbow. Big. I was gonna say it's big a rainbow. rainbow. Wow. Big rainbow. Whoa. <laughs> big rolling. big rainbow. We're over here trying to throw at these uh, at these sockeye I've been trying all day. And I saw a bunch of sockeye threw right into him and his big rainbow took my fly. Man, is he pretty. Look at him. Alright, we don't deal. wanna lose this fish. That is a beautiful rainbow jump. Oh, yeah, keep tension, keep Yeah, tension. I know, I, you got a barbless hook, so. Might have to strip him all the way in. Wow. Yeah, that is a beautiful fish. Gracious. See, he just spat up a whole bunch of flesh. See that white yeah. stuff floating out? Yeah. That's salmon carcasses he just spat up. That's 20 easy. Oh, yeah. That's. Oh, look at him. There we go. I'm going to work my way towards you a little bit. Right here we here. go, here we go, here we go. 
Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That is an awesome, oh, awesome fish. Oh, wow. Awesome fish. Look at the colors Pink fly on fly hanging out of his mouth. Oh, barely. Gorgeous. That is an awesome fish right there, Joe. There oh, goes. man, look at that. Beautiful fish, Joe. Look at that. Oh, look at that Alaska rainbow. Holy cow, is that beautiful. <laughs> All right, man, how about that fish? That's a look great at that. Fish. Let's get him back in there. He's too big and beautiful to, to stress him out. Come on, pal. There he goes. There he goes, just fine. Good nice, <laughs> nice fish. Good fish, Joe. All right. Hey, stay tuned, everybody. When we come back, more Joe's Wild Side Adventures from the Antioch River Lodge in Alaska. Man, there are all kind of fish in this little channel here. Look at that. What is oh, the That's beaver. a beaver. Check him out. <laughs> you got chum I thought that was him. a fish. That'd be a heck of a fish. Oh man, there's all kind of stuff going on here. I'm still trying to go after these sockeye. Caught that beautiful rainbow, and now I got this nice Dolly Varden on. What a what an afternoon this has been. Great, great dolly. dolly Varden there. Yep, great Dolly Varden. Got a little nicked up on its back. Must have gotten too close to a chum bed. Got it. Got him. <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> Whoa, another acrobat. I'll tell you what, Crockett, I, I've had a blast today. We, I mean, look at, look at the red fins on him. Look at the pretty colors. Oh, oh, right off. Oh. <laughs> That's what I call a quick release. Now, we came up here in this calmer water after these sockeye, but... No, I threw a cast up here, landed a big rainbow, and then, and then now here comes another sockeye, which I've been trying at all day. We we picked up two or three Dolly Vardens, and it's just been unbelievable. I mean, there's so many different species of fish right around this little area. We've got some dirty water coming in here, got some clean water here, and these fish are just unbelievably strong. They're 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 wily, they're spooky, they're it's 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 been a blast. Well, you know, it's getting late in the day, but uh, Crockett said there's another spot that we could probably pick up a few Dolly Vardens, and we no sooner parked the boat. I threw my line in the first drift, and I got a nice one on here. It's been a great day, and I got this fish. Look at that. Spat it out and everything. Yeah, he spit the hook nice for us. A beautiful Dolly Varden. Well, we just released that uh, Dolly Varden, but uh, this area right here is uh, a, a spawning ground for the chum salmon. Uh, so they're laying their beds here, uh, a lot of eggs. So those Dolly Varden have just moved in here by the hundreds. And uh, so we're throwing an egg pattern. Uh, they'll bounce this thing off the bottom with a little split shot. And it, uh, you know, it emulates the chum egg. So uh, it's been real successful all day long. We're, we're gonna catch a few more of these and no more than 20 feet from the boat, a little bit upstream, and uh, just kind of let them, let it drift down through some of these beds. Okay, we got something here through this drift. That's fighting a lot harder than the Dolly Varden I've caught earlier today. Yeah, it's, it's, either a, it's, it's either a large Dolly Varden or possibly a rainbow trout. I don't think it's a rainbow. A <laughs> <laughs> little far up river for those. That'd be cool though. <laughs> Boy, it's really digging down. Nice little grayling. Yeah, he's got some yellow tint to him, blue. Beautiful little fish. Let's see if we can get that fin up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Posing for the camera. Posing for the camera. There. I wonder if it's a uh, chum. No, it's it's either a dolly or a rainbow. I'm pretty sure it's a dolly. Yeah, it's a dolly. Oh, nice fish. It's a big dolly. Oh, wow. Nice, good oh, one. Oh, man. 
Would you mind taking the picture, Crockett? Nope, not at all. That's a great dolly right there. Well, that's going to do it for today's show, folks. I'm going to end the show with this beautiful Dolly Varden. Thanks for watching Joe's Wild Side Adventures, and make sure you stay tuned for Cooking on the Wild Side coming up next. We'll see you next time.